Okay, so under uh, ERP, the efficiency of the overall system um, comes in with package labelling. Now, there are only two combinations that would lead to a requirement for a package label. So one is a heat source, so be it a boiler or a CHP unit or a heat pump, with external control, so be that a room thermostat through to something more advanced like a multi-zone controller. The other instance that would require a package label is where you have a heat source in combination with a solar thermal system. That then requires the addition into the package label of the solar thermal collectors and the solar cylinder itself. There are a number of ways that the, the label can be produced. Um, a lot of manufacturers, BAXI included, will be uh, including a web-based tool um, so they can input the various values of the uh, equipment they are installing. Um, and from the, those values, uh, a label will be generated. So essentially all the calculations will be done uh, by the web tool. If you're dealing with an existing system, so you're going to do, for example, a boiler swap or replace some controls, whatever it may be, when you're looking at the ERP directive in terms of the, the package label, you don't need to take into account any existing stuff within the property into that calculation. So it's only appliances and controls that have been installed at the same time, newly installed. The actual calculation is is quite simple. Certainly, if you if the the installer has access to a web based um, calculation, inputting the various uh, energy uh, inputs that they require will be remarkably quick. Um, I anticipate probably no more than five to ten minutes to actually uh, fill in the calculator and then populate the label. Sure. So at the moment, when deriving a package of products for ERP, you can quite happily go and get product from a number of different manufacturers to combine into a single package. There may well be um, some commercial advantage in the future to start to look at doing packages of products and certainly some merchants may well look to do that themselves as well. Um, whoever then creates that package will then take on the responsibility for deriving the package label. The authority that will be policing the new regulations uh, is a government department called the National Measurement Office, the NMO, um, um, and they will do uh, police the market by basically surveillance, so they will be visiting various distributors um, and outlets who sell water heating and heating equipment, purchasing those products and basically testing them against the various standard criteria that manufacturers have to meet to verify that the manufacturer's uh, technical declarations and the energy efficiency labels are correct. Okay, well, ERP cost installers money. Um, in terms of having to buy any additional equipment, no. Um, there's, there's certainly a time cost attracted to you know doing the labelling part of it, doing the paperwork, but in terms of physical cost, no. It shouldn't have any impact at all of people that are working under Green Deal and RHI, um, in as much as this, this, this regulation it stands alone. Um, at all manufacturers it will be mandatory have to energy label their products. Um, installers will have to create package labels where appropriate, where they're putting in a, a whole systems. When dealing with labelling an ERP on top of an existing installation, for example a combi boiler plus some controls, um, it's literally a five minute job. Calculate out the package label, tick the right box on the package label, hands the end user, away you go.